So a lot of you guys have been asking about the chickens and whether or not we're getting eggs yet. Let's go take a look. Very nice day in Northeast Tennessee. Perfect weather. And there we have the famous mama cat. The most hateful cat on YouTube. Looks like somebody is taking care of business right there. Looks like we're getting edged, guys. Check this out. So right here we have the original chickens we got. We got 11 of those. And we added these four around the 1st of July. I like that one right there. Actually, I like them all. So we've been getting about six eggs a day. It looks like today though, we might get seven. We'll come back in about an hour and hopefully she'll be done and see how many we got. Now we're gonna head down to the timber frame and work on some of the walls. Got some more shiplap to put up. All right, friends, on my last video, maybe two videos ago, I can't remember, we started making shiplap with some pine and right there is the end result. I think I've got five boards on there right now. There's no insulation in this wall because this is an interior wall. So let's go ahead and cut some of these to length and get them installed. This may help some of you guys out that have miter saws. People always say you need a stop block when you're making the same length cut over and over again. If you have a miter saw stand like this one, I think this is a Hercules brand. I got it at Harbor Freight about $100. So if you don't have a stop block, all you gotta do is make your cut on one end and then take that end and push it against this roller and raise the roller up to where it will stop the board. Then set your length with the throat of the miter saw and there you go, stop cuts all day long. It's really easy to do and it saves you the time of having to mark every board. <laughs> I'm out of boards. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. I do believe I'm not gonna put a finish on here. I put a picture of this on Instagram and somebody mentioned if I was gonna put finish on it. And I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it looks right now. I don't think it needs anything. I like the raw, natural look of the wood. Looks really good, I like it. So we're out of shiplap, but I've got this stack of pine right here, and this is kiln dried. The width is about uh, nine and a half inches. Some of them are seven inches. We need to get these edged down to five and three quarters. The reason being, when you run lumber through the molder, you don't want to take off a lot of material. You want it as close as to the finished size as you could get it. But before we take these up to the sawmill, I got a poplar up there on the 70 right now that needs finished up. We're gonna be cutting that into two by fours. Then we'll come back down here, get these boards, take those up to the sawmill, edge them to five and three quarters, bring them back down here and make more shiplap and hopefully finish up this wall today. On the sawmill, like I was saying earlier, we got a tulip poplar. This thing is 12 feet long. This face I got opened up right here is about 14 inches. This is left over out of a previous order that I did a few days ago. And we're gonna saw this into two by fours. My dad needs 30 two by fours. So we're gonna get some of those out of this log right here. The rest of them probably out of some pine. Now, usually when I'm sawing up two by fours, I like to make it a true two by four, not the nominal stuff you see at the big bot store. I like it to be two inches by four inches, but dad, has requested this stuff to be like the stuff you see at Lowe's and Home Depot, the nominal size. He wants an inch and a half by three and a half. So that's what we're gonna do. And by doing that, we'll get more two by fours out of this log actually. 
Lubrication tank, we got enough lube in there to finish out today's sawing. On the mill, we got a Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. I get those from Joe Main down in Georgia. Guys, if you want those blades or if you just want to try them out, give him a phone call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. All right, I had to grab my phone so I don't mess up on these dates. So October the 7th, 2022, in case you're watching this video in the future, that's a Friday, I'll be at the Paul Bunyan Show at the Woodmiser booth from 12 to 4 p.m. There's a link down below to the Woodmiser, uh, not the Woodmiser, the Paul Bunyan Show website. You can go check that out if you need to find out where it's at and get directions. Now on Saturday, October the 8th, I believe the Paul Bunyan Show was the 7th, the 8th, and the 9th. I won't be there on the 9th, that's the Sunday. But on the 8th, I'll be at the Logwright tent from 9 to 11.30 in the morning and the afternoon, I'll be there from 1.30 to 3.30. So there's two opportunities to come by and catch me on Saturday if you can't make it on Friday. I might be a little rusty let's see if this still works looky there friends I still got it on the road headed back to New Orleans driving in the country past old Time he seen big birds were singing in the tall willow tree. Mighty fine. Three words written on the paper bag. I miss you was written in the message in black. Thrown in the van, it's a thousand miles back. 
better time. 